Welcome back to the Urban Farmyard, where this city girl goes country. In today's video, we're looking at how to introduce your new cat or kitten to the outdoors. Let's go take a look. Well, if you have adopted a new cat or kitten, at some stage you are likely to want to introduce them to the great outdoors. Now today's video is part of a complete series on preparing your cat or kitten to go outside. So if you haven't watched the earlier videos on deciding whether they should go out and preparing them for the day that they go out, head on down and take a look at those first and then come back to this particular video. Now I've introduced dozens and dozens of cats to the outdoors after I have adopted them and there's a bit of a knack to doing it successfully so that they're A comfortable and B don't go missing. The way I prefer to approach this is by introducing them to the outdoors in the late afternoon or early evening on the first day that I let them out. What I do is I introduce them to the outdoors about half an hour to an hour before their regular dinner time. The reason why I do it at that particular time of day is it gives them a short period of time to explore the outdoors, figure out what it's all about before coming in safely for their dinner. Now what I do is I choose the safest place to introduce them to outdoor life. In my case it's going out through one of the back doors into our completely enclosed garden space. That's the safest place for our animals because they are in a contained garden and they're least likely to have an accident or have something happen to them in that particular environment. What I do on the first day I take them out is I open the doors that I expect that they are going to be using and I take them out with me and pop them on the ground just outside the door. What I do from there is I sit with them. I spend the entire half hour or hour with them, just hanging out with them, gauging how comfortable they are and reassuring them that outdoor life is actually okay. What I never do is just open the doors, let them out and just let them do their own thing. I don't think it's a good idea to do it that way so definitely stay with them. Then when it comes to their normal dinner time I bring them inside, I lock the door, I give them their food and then they stay in for the night. That's my strong preference with indoor outdoor cats. I bring them inside for dinner each night and I lock them in. The reason why I do that is night time is the time that they're most likely to go roaming, get hit by cars and get into fights so it is much much safer for them to be safely inside with me overnight. It's also better Better for birds. Birds are most active at dawn and dusk so it's a good idea to have your cat safely tucked up inside during those hours. The next day I do exactly the same thing. About half an hour to an hour before their normal dinner time I take them outside and I let, let them play around, again staying with them. What I do over a period of days is I gradually give them more and more time outside and I also start to go inside and outside during their time outdoors so that they get used to being out there without me around. What I do at all times though is I keep the doors open so that they can get in if they panic and so that they also remember that they can actually use the doors to get back inside. What I'm not trying to do is encourage them to go in and out of a cat flap at this point in time. That's something that I teach them later on. Again when it gets to their dinner time I will bring them inside, lock the doors and they will stay safely inside with me overnight. It generally takes me about a week to integrate each cat with indoor outdoor life. I gradually increase the amount of time they're spending outdoors each day and I gradually decrease the amount of time I'm spending out there with them. And what I find is after about a week they're free to go in and out of the doors on their own as they choose. But again I do stick to the rule they must come in at dinner time, must eat indoors and must stay in overnight. So I hope that helps you with the process of introducing your cat to the outdoors. In our next video we'll be introducing the final stage in the process and that is teaching them how to use a cat door. See you here tomorrow.